Hi, I'm Brian Dickinson and this training byte defines the purpose and structure of a UVM verification component or UVC. Firstly, some definitions. A UVM verification component or UVC is a reusable pre-verified IP block which a user can simply instantiate and configure in their test bench. Each UVC should conform to a standard architecture and packaging for easier reuse. Each UVC should be complete and include stimulus generation, checking and coverage. The UVC is the lowest level of reuse and it should be reused as a whole and not be broken up. There are two types of UVC. Interface UVCs are specific to a bus or communication protocol, for example AHB or Ethernet. Module UVCs are specific to a DUT and include scoreboards and register reference models. Let's stress the difference between interface and module UVCs. Interface UVCs are specific to a protocol, bus or discrete set of DDT ports. They generate stimulus for the bus and are reusable everywhere that protocol is used. Interview interface UVCs have a set architecture and some consistency in configuration. Module UVCs are specific to a DUT or even a particular version of DUT. They provide checks and coverage for the DUT, for example capturing input and output data from the interface UVCs for scoreboarding. They are reusable everywhere the DUT is used. Unlike interface UVCs, they do not have a standard set architecture. Let's look at creating an interface UVC. Here's our DUT connected to our UVC via a system Verilog interface. On the input or transmitter side, we need a driver component to implement the protocol to send data into the DUT. We need a transaction generator or sequencer to create the data. We can then define the stimulus for the sequencer. However, we don't want to define stimulus in the form of individual data items. We should define a sequence or stream of data for the sequencer to keep the pipeline to the driver full. On the output or receiver side of a DUT, we need a sequencer to create responses controlled by a sequence of data items and applied to the DUT by a driver. Now we can control both transmit and receive with read and write data to thoroughly stress the DUT. What about coverage and checking? We need another component called a monitor for this. These connect directly to DUT interfaces so they see the same data as the DUT. The data captured by the monitor can be used for local coverage and checking and sent onto other components such as scoreboards. The input monitor posts data to the scoreboard and the output monitor sends result data for checking against the inputs. We can use the UVC to verify a block standalone, but when we start to integrate our block with others in the system, the block interfaces are no longer external. So we cannot use the UVC drivers, but we still need the coverage, checking and connections from the monitor. Therefore, our UVC needs switches to control if the TX or RX sides are active, in which case they drive data, or passive, in which case they can only monitor the DUT. If either side is passive, the sequencer and driver are not created. This allows reuse of our UVC at system level simply by flipping a switch. So this is the architecture of an interface UVC. There are actually two devices here, a transmitter and a receiver. We can encapsulate each device with an agent. We can control the number and type of agents we need in our UVC, and we can also control whether each agent is active or passive. Now, UVM is not restricted to system Verilog. You may have verification assets or verification teams which use other languages such as system C or Specman E. The UVM methodology and architecture can be applied to other languages, allowing easier integration of multi-language components. So that's the basic definition of a UVC. I hope you find it useful.